Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the cage, in the blue corner, Amir Waman! Amir Waman from Cairo, Egypt, 27 year old with a record of six and one. His style is MMA, so you know he's well-rounded. He packs a hell of a punch, and he's coming in with a challenge to knock him out directly. What do you think of that, Supreme? I do hope he can stand his Egyptian team proud, because that's one bold statement to make there, saying you take uh, Kultar Dan. For now, his keys to victory, he needs to use his experience and not rush, stay off his back and stand and back. Absolutely, I think uh, he needs to he needs to stick and move, like I'd say. He needs to stay off his back because that's where Kultar is dangerous. If Kultar gets you to the ground, he is going to finish you. Actually, Kultar is pretty dangerous standing as well, so he just needs to use his experience and, you know, play it by the ear. Find his openings properly, be completely patient and take his time. He doesn't want to rush in to something where he can just end in and make a mistake. Because Kultar is not going to give him that chance. If he finds an opening, he is going to end that fight. Well, I'm just glad we found an opponent uh, for Kultar, otherwise he would have to take this one alone that <laughs> and just, just stand that, there victorious. <laughs> that just lets you know what kind of fighter Kultar is. A lot of people don't want to fight him. Kultar has a, has a lot of world-class experience. Mm -hmm. Here we see Amir Rahman enter the kit. Looking good, looking in shape, looking ready. And his opponent in the red corner, Kultar Singh Gill! Kultar Singh Gill, 33 years of age from Abbotsford, British Columbia. I told you it's going to be dramatic. That's one dramatic entry. Just look at that. Absolutely. He comes in in style. He wants the crowd to know who he is. He's one to make statements, but this one, he's putting his... Uh, Talbar on the ground. That's the spirit That's of a warrior right there. God's blessing first. That's one Punjabi Munda there. Absolutely. Punjabi Munda is right. Fighting out with a record of 11 and 8. He's looking to make a statement here tonight again, like as he did at SFL3. Taking his time, walking down, absorbing everything as he goes, taking in the crowd. I had an interview with Kultar and he loves India, absolutely. In fact, he, he speaks Punjabi, he doesn't even speak Hindi. Like I said, he's certainly a Punjabi Munda there, his keys to victory. Needs to be as aggressive as he always is. Physical dominance, if he can have that, he may just have the game again. And use his desi strength to his advantage. <laughs> Absolutely, the boys from Punjab are strong as they come. Kultar is definitely at the top of that heat. He has to use his physical prowess, his dominance, coupled with his fantastic striking, his takedown ability, and his insane ground and pound to control the fight wherever he wants. Here's the tale of the tape. Amir Rahman is from Egypt, Kultar, the Indian, 27-year-old, the younger Amir, 23-year-old, the veteran Kultar. They both weighed in at 77 kg with a slight advantage to Kultar in the height at 1.82 meters versus 1.75. Kultar comes in with an 11-8 record and Amir with a 6-1. Well, coming off a knockout over a South African fighter, well, Kultar definitely has that advantage at SFL3. Let's see how this one goes now. Absolutely. That fight with Quinton Arense was uh, absolutely insane. I mean, I saw that fight, I was there, and Kultar just came in, he didn't give him a second, not even a second. He bull rushed him, he put him to the ground, and absolutely knocked him senseless. That's the kind of power this man possesses. That's the kind of power, that's the kind of, that's the kind of danger this man has. I think he has that in his physical appearance as well. Look at them tattoos he's got. He doesn't call himself Black Namba for nothing. Absolutely. Namba is the most venomous uh, snake in Africa. It's the fastest snake in the world. I mean, Absolutely. just look at that. He has that statement already saying, I am dangerous, back off. He has an attacking tiger on him too. Absolutely. Those tattoos say a lot about Kultar and his strategy. Now, Kultar is definitely, I would describe him in one word. He's a weapon. That's it. He's a weapon as he enters the ozone cage. He's looking to make a statement again as he races towards his corner. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, it's time. This is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist with a record of five wins and one loss, standing at five feet at seven inches and weighing in at 76.6 kilograms. Representing Egypt, put your hands together for Amir Waman! <laughs> and his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist with a record of one win and no losses, standing at five feet and nine inches, and weighing in at 77.6 Kilograms representing India. Put your hands together for Kultar Singh Gill. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the fight, Yuji Shimada. Okay, five minutes, three rounds, no headbuttings, not a groin attack. No gloves of hands, okay? Clean fight, clean fights, obey the my uh, dog match, okay? Touch gloves, go back, corner. In charge of the ozone. <coughs> We're ready to go for our main event. Introducing first co founder and CEO of the SFL, Mr. Raj Kundra, is beside me and joining us in our commentating post. Hi, Raj. Hey, thank you so much, Arjun. Great, Arjun. I think you're doing a fantastic job. But thank you very much. What we have done here is just revolutionize the way MMA is seen in India. Absolutely. Both fighters in the center of the, of the cage, feeding each other out. The process started. This Kultar is just a great showman. Absolutely. Kultar is looking to set off those kicks. Beautiful kick by Kultar. Kultar is definitely one for the audience. Look at that. Look at that takedown. Look at that power. He just rushes in straight into side control. What do you think of this? What do you think of this one? Fantastic fight. You know, I'm very proud of the Super Fight League fighters. I think they've done so well. Look at this. We've had four knockouts tonight. Absolutely. That was quite a beastly attack, I have to say. He just went for it. No, it's this is Kultar Sal. He will, if you know what he makes up for, what he makes up in positioning is brute power and technique. He will just take you down and he will not let you go. He is absolutely relentless. Pushing him up against the cage right now. Beautiful knee. I think uh, I think the training of the SFL has gone leaps and bounds. Wouldn't you think so, Raj? It's taking to the ground now. Nice, nice. Absolutely, yeah. The, the training is going well. The Indian fighters are really, uh, you know, doing their best in the camp, and uh, we're selecting the best. The state associations are really helping us. Amir Rahman trying to put up a fight, but beautiful knees by Kultar. He's got the clinch. Oh, beautiful knees! Amir's a bit hurt, but he smiles at him, egging him on. Nice leg kick by Kultar. Beautiful try to retreat there. Nice knee. Kultar. Oh, oh good, good, head good, kick. good. Well, Amir's a gamer. He's standing in there. And Kultar's out timing him. Amir, the man from Egypt, made some bold claims. Of knocking him down in the first round. Uh, Absolutely. Let's, let's the see Punjabi how he is Kultar playing. has this fight in his control. Another takedown to side control. What do you think of his performance so far, Raj? Yeah, fantastic. You know, I'm just proud of the fact that we are now live worldwide. You know, we've got uh, all our TV deals in place. Sponsors are now, you know, reacting really well to the Super Fight League. Um, we're delivering quality events. Beautiful knee. Look at that. Look at his technique. Took him, he mounted him, he turned him around, body shots, shots to the face. He's completely roughing him up. He's bullying him right now. Look at that beautiful knee to the body. He shoved him down again. Mounted, mounted. We're talking about this, Raj, before that we have uh, now, uh, there's been an MMA evolution from style versus this. style. We moved on. He's in the mount position. He's looking to end the fight right now. Kultar is reacting to the crowd support. Elbows, hammer fists to the face of Amir. He's looking for an armbar. I think he's got it. Got the armbar. I think he may have got it. He's squeezing tight. I think Amir is trying to he's trying to circle out of it. Oh, he let it go. Uh, props to Amir. He's been at the receiving end of a Kultar beating so far. And yes, Supriti was saying six months down. You know, six months ago we were just a brand new league. Today we are the most recognized fighting league in the world out of India. We are the only MMA league in India, and we have created waves. 
has definitely put India on the world map there. Absolutely. Kultar again got the mount. He repeatedly is mounting. He's controlling Amir on the ground. He's just completely outclassing him on the ground, on the feet. Amir is trying to buck his hips and get underneath, but so far Kultar's base has been too strong. And he's trying to hit back. He's looking, I think he's looking to set up another armbar. He's come, he's put his foot across, but Amir has turned out of it. In the process, given up his back. Knees, beautiful knees. You can that see means some good escape from Amr, though. Absolutely. You can see, Raj, how, how quickly the game has evolved here. Absolutely. Thanks, Dio. You know, like I said, six months ago, nobody recognized MMA. It was an infancy stage, and it's still I think Absolutely. I think Amir is hurt here. There was a beautiful knee to the body. Sorry, Raj, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, not at all. Like I said, we're, we're in infancy stage. We're educating the audiences. We did a reality show. We had amateur fighters. And today, you've just seen some top quality fights happen. Going, and these going. are fighters who had no MMA background. There's a lot of audience input there as well. People are loving it. There's a lot of response online as well. Absolutely. I think, I think the support for the Indian fighters is overwhelming them. I think this is what they, they, they fight for. You can hear them go now. Absolutely, they're going absolutely Lots crazy for Kultar. Lots of cheer and applause and rooting for Kultar. I think Kultar is, look, is looking Adhikar! to drop those elbows and it's over. And Yuji Adhikar Shimada Adhikar. has Adhikar. seen enough. Kultar Singh Gill has done it again. Kultar Gill. He looks over at us at the broadcasting booth, tosses his mouthpiece out with that arrogant swagger that makes him Kultar Singh Gill. An absolutely amazing, dominant performance on the feet and on the ground. Absolutely amazing. As he walks past us here tonight. Absolutely amazing. Great performance by Kultar. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fight by technical knockout in the first round, four minutes and 39 seconds in the red corner, Kultur Singh Gill!